Welcome to the Turbo Watch 2 operating video. This video will provide you with the information you need to operate Hobart's new Turbo Wash 2 pot and pan sink. The Turbo Wash 2 pot and pan washers are designed for total immersion in a wash sink, complete with a pump which provides turbulent wash action. Your unit is designed to meet your operation's specific scullery needs. There are a wide variety of options from which to customize your unit. We will address the most common of these options in this video. For more information, always refer to the instruction manual. Replacement manuals can be obtained from your local Hobart office. To begin operation of your Turbo Wash 2 pot and pan sink, you must first fill each compartment with warm water. This water should be approximately 115 degrees Fahrenheit. As the sink fills, stop the filling action at the water level mark on the back wall of the sink. Add detergent to the wash sink. Your unit may be equipped with the autofill option. The autofill provides an automatic fill for the wash sink. Next, fill the sanitizer sink with warm water to the water level mark on the back wall of the sink. This water should be a minimum of 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Add sanitizer to the filled sanitizer sink. Immersion rinse is required by some local health departments. If immersion rinse is required by your local health department, fill the rinse sink with warm water to the water level mark on the back of the sink. This water should be a minimum of 75 degrees Fahrenheit. If immersion wash is not required, you may want to use the rinse sink for spray rinsing. After the sinks are filled, start the wash pump. To start the wash pump, turn the pump switch to the start position and release to the on position. The pump indicator light is lit when the pump is on. Your unit may be equipped with the auto shutoff option. To utilize the auto shutoff option, turn the switch to the start position and then release to the on position. With the auto shutoff option, the pump will automatically shut off after four hours. Your unit may be equipped with dual setting wash sink heat. On the normal setting, the heater provides 110 degrees Fahrenheit wash sink water temperature. On the overnight soaking setting, 140 degrees Fahrenheit wash sink water temperature is provided. This setting is recommended for overnight washing only. The heat on indicator light is lit when the heat switch is turned to either the normal or overnight soaking setting. To begin washing, turn the heat switch to normal. Be sure to pre-scrap all items. Scrape loose food soil into a trash receptacle or into the optional built-in scrapper. Place large items directly into the wash sink. Place smaller items in the utensil basket and place the utensil basket into the wash sink. Do not nest or stack pans together. Nesting and stacking will inhibit the wash action. You can load and unload most items when the pump is on. If you are washing sheet pans, you will find that they are easier to load and unload when the pump is off. Be sure to alternate the sheet pan's lengths and widths so that they do not nest and inhibit the washing action of the Turbo Wash 2. Wash items in the wash sink for 3 to 10 minutes or as long as is necessary to clean the wear. After washing is complete, move the items to the rinse sink. Rinse the items by immersing them in the rinse sink or by spraying them with water. Sanitize items by immersing in the sanitizer sink. The time required for this process should be specified by your chemical supplier. If wear is exceptionally soiled, you may need to repeat the entire wash process. Yeah. 
it is very important to maintain your Turbo Wash 2 in a clean condition at all times. Clean the Turbo Wash 2 before using, at least every four hours during use, or more often if necessary, to maintain clean condition. Before beginning the cleaning process, turn both the pump and the heater off. Next, open the drains and empty all of the sinks. Remove the outer pump inlet strainer and lift the inner strainer located at the rear wall of the wash sink. Lift the heater cover located on the side wall of the wash sink. Flush out any remaining food soil. Remove food soil from the sink bottom and dispose of it in the trash receptacle. Clean the sinks and components thoroughly using a clean brush or cloth and a detergent solution mixed according to your chemical manufacturer's instruction. Use extreme care when cleaning around the heater compartment, the temperature probe, and the low water flow. Flush these areas with a gentle spray. When necessary, wipe the wash, rinse, and sanitizer sinks with sanitizer solution, diluted according to the chemical supplier's instruction. Allow the sinks to air dry after wiping with the sanitizer. Like any of your other equipment, always keep the exterior of the TurboWash 2 sink unit clean. This concludes the operator training video on the TurboWash 2 pot and pan sink. Please refer to your instruction manual if you have any additional questions regarding the use, operation, or troubleshooting of this unit or contact your local Hobart Sales and Service Office.